Hey y'all, it's your girl Diddy King. So in this chart, depending where you know me from, and hello, okay, I am recording this off my iPhone. Um, but she's gonna show you how I get ready, do my hair for the night, I'm trying to get in the shot. Okay, if, if my phone falls, I'm sorry, and hopefully you can hear me good. But um, yeah, I'm basically gonna show you how I prep my hair for the night. I'm trying to look at myself. Okay, there you go. You can see me. So yes, this is basically how I do my hair at night. Um, very basic, very simple. Like I mentioned in my last video, I was in love with Shea Moisture products. All this stuff is Shea Moisture. So here we go. Um, first of all, I want to have my bonnets near me, but it's okay. Um, first I spray my hair with, in this bottle is the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Holding Mist. I really love this stuff. Very moisturizing. If you want to use this, sometimes if I don't feel like using this, I either use some kind of water-based stuff. Um, I might use this, which is, um, Organics Hair Mayonnaise. I know it's all backwards, so I'm sorry. But it's Organics by Africa's Best Hair Mayonnaise, or I might use my Not Today, but something really water-based. Because when you locking silly moisture, moisturize your hair, you gotta remember the LLC Liquid Oil Cream. So, this is my liquid, so I just spray all over, make sure I can get my ends really good. The main reason I put it in this bottle because the other bottle really was kind of hard to get my hair fully moisturized. I felt like I had to keep squeezing so much. I just transferred it to this bottle. But yeah. That's it. My hair is all nice and damp. Something. And now I take my oil. Any kind of oil you use. Um, this is olive oil and jojoba oil. I use this sometimes. I might use some of this. If I have my braids in, this is really what I will follow up with the next. Um, this is organic root stimulator, nature, nature shine. It's a rich blend of natural and essential oils. It's a very good spray, like especially if you have braids and stuff. But if I don't use this, I mainly use this with my twist in. But this this is what I use if I have like my Senegree twist in or something else like that. But yeah. So basically put a little bit in my hand. Rub it together and just oops. And just get it everywhere. Just try to get my whole head. But mainly focus on the ends. First time I get the hair, the hair shaft, then the next time I go through, um, I kind of focus more on the ends. But there we go. Make sure everything is nice and moisturized. Now this time I'm gonna make sure just the ends focus. So yes, and then now for the cream, I use the curly hair smoothie. Like I mentioned in my previous video of where have you been hair update and randomness, I really don't like this as a, it doesn't really work for me as like a styling agent, so I use the silver moisture. So, take the little bit of this. Dog. This is probably about a good amount. Make sure you massage your scalp. Damn. <clears throat> now, I am going to French braid my hair. So I'm going to go to bed. Ready to wait. Get ready to go to bed. So I'm going to French braid it up. So, my hair is usually already have a big part down the middle. So, get this section out the way. Damn. French braiding is very easy. I'm trying to show you. I turn it on. Bam. So, just a big, two big giant cornrows, you want to call it that, either or. And doing this also helps stretch this out my twists anyway, kind of make them look, elongate them a little bit better, which is like very cute too. And then sometimes, when I, depending on what I'm doing at work, I might just go to work with just these two French 